Night rides are not the norm at Cole Canyon, but organized group rides by Southern Gap Outdoor Adventure might just be one of the most exciting ATV rides you could experience. About 20 riders showed up for this ride, including the fire department rescue squad, so we know we're in good hands. The first part of this ride starts out with a relaxing ride through the woods onto some steep terrain. We saw several deer along the way. There were all types of ATVs, from Can-Ams to Honda side-by-sides, and drivers with a wide range of skill levels. Trail Ranger Roger Street and his dog Rocky set a good slow pace so everyone could just ease along and enjoy the outdoors. You can leave the house, you can get on your razor, you don't have to get in your vehicle, you can hit the trail, you can go get food where you want to, you can get gas, you can just spend all day in the woods, on the trails, you can picnic, you can take your wife, your grandkids, you can picnic on the trails and under the shade in the hot summer days. It's just, just a different experience than, uh, than what I was expecting. So I'm spending more time now on the trails than what I originally ever figured I would. Oh my God, I had a blast. It's the first time that I've really ridden on a trail in a razor. Uh, we have some friends, we're, we're a member of Shenandoah Valley Dirt Riders Group and we go on trips and ride all over the place. We've been down to Busco Beach, we've been to Hatfield McCoy Trails and uh, Christy here actually reached out to our group back in March was our first trip down here for the Easter egg hunt and we had a blast so we've been coming back ever since. It's like a part of a family. When you're in a, a dirt riding group or you meet the people on the trails, you stay connected to them. You don't just let them go. It's like you, you hook up and you meet in other places and you ride in other places with them and you become friends and part of your extended family. So we love it down here. Since the town of Grundy is an ATV friendly town, we were able to drive right into downtown for fuel, snacks, and dinner. Having the trail right here too, I really think it's fantastic for the the town and the people in this town, you know, they're kind of small and close-knit community and having somewhere to ride right here in your backyard really gives you a lot of pride, you know, it gives these kids and the youth something to do, something to look forward to. You never see anybody come into the store without a smile on their face, you know, they're always happy and riding and I'm green with envy because I want to be out there with them, but hey, man's got to work and I'm glad to provide the service that we do here at Double Quick. But in all seriousness, is it is a great thing for this town to have something like this, something they can rally with, host these events with, and you know, have these charities and poker runs for these kids. It's really fantastic and can't be lucky enough, thank God above, for what we got going on. And I hope it continues on and they expand. Riding to me is my stress release. It is something about being on the trails and just once you get in that machine, it just, everything lets go. It's just, it's your free ride. <laughs> it's no stress, no worries, no none of that. You're just free. The ride home was beautiful. The bikes were lit with light bars and LEDs. Below us, the lights of downtown Grundy quickly faded into the distance because the terrain got steep in a hurry as we headed up the mountain. Some of the switchbacks were extremely tight, and for the people who like steep trails, this was perfect. I thought that I was going to die last night on one of the trails. Christy calls it the zip line trail. But uh, it's real steep, and it's a lot of switchbacks. And um, to put it mildly, I was shaking like a dog pooping out razor blades when we come up off that thing. <laughs> I did think I was going to die, so I will say this, no matter what skill level you are, if you're expert or just a beginner, they got every trail down here you could possibly want. It don't matter what your skill level is in riding, it's here in this place. All of our riders made it back to the trailhead safely after a magical night. We're sure there are going to be stories told about this ride for a long time. Hey, if your group wants to schedule a night ride, called Southern Gap Outdoor Adventure.